All right, I have my camera going. Can you please introduce yourself? Hi there, my name is Paul Kinsman. I'm the director of instrumental music here at the high school. Awesome. Now I have to may I have to comment. You're the only person with less hair now <laughs> than when we left. Everyone else looks like myself. Looks like they've 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 joined Duck Dynasty or something like that. <laughs> uh, well, I, I had to take some hair off this summer to get some skin cancer taken okay. care of on the top of my head. So I went 20 years of my life loving my hair and being like, I'm not a hat person, but let me tell you, wear a hat. Huh, yeah, I wouldn't think chop of the head. <laughs> that's, that's good to know that you can, get, you can get stuff up there. Oh, yeah, so right I'm where the hair about. met, right where the hair parted. That's where I huh. Huh. Yeah. Okay, good, good to know, good to know. Safety tip, safety tip. Now... Tell us, what would you be teaching freshmen this year? What are you teaching freshmen this year? Well, I'm welcoming about 20 new freshmen into the band community, and I'm super excited about that. Uh, band is obviously going to happen online, um, but we're going to do a lot of creative projects, a lot of sectionals, uh, and a lot of collaborating with other departments as well. So you're going to be improvisers and composers and practitioners of your instrument, but then also artists in a way. Well, I'm very cool. excited to, to bring that to all of our new freshmen coming in. Well, we should collaborate. You know, music, I always bring music into my, my units. We always listen to music and then we, we piece apart, like, well, what are we hearing? What does that mean? You know, where, where was this performed? If it's, if, if it's inside a stone building, you know, that's, probably a church, you know, it's a cathedral. And that, that's a way of like getting to understand the time period that we're looking at. Absolutely. And you know, the other class that I'm going to teach this fall is a class that I think everyone should take in their high school career called American Popular Music and Social Change. And in that class, you, kind of, you follow popular music in America, you talk about it, you hear all your favorites, you see where they fit into history. And, you know, it takes a minute to realize that history is the same as music history oh yeah all these things happening at exactly the same time oh yeah so. i couldn't agree with you more and then there's this whole technological aspect to to both history and music you know yeah, of course. i mean the advent of synthesizers the the use of turntables to scratch you know the invention and, of the microphone oh huge the electrification of instruments yeah. so it's 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 you know you can kind of track the industrial revolution you but i always play Although it's a little out of period when we do industrialization, I do a player piano piece, you know, because that's your original jukebox, right? Of course. Yeah. And where would they have them? They had them out West because people didn't know how to play piano out West because that wasn't, that was a highbrow thing to learn piano, you know, there's okay. this stuff and it's automation as well, right? It's kind of the beginning of automation. So, you know, I, I, I couldn't agree with you more. There's such an overlap between history and music. I mean, and there's, there, you can become a professor in that, right? You can become a history professor Absolutely. in music. Absolutely. So what's one thing you're excited about uh, in terms of this fall and kind of remote learning? Well, it's a little bit what I shared with you um, regarding the band. Is that band and learning an instrument has always been so centered on Learn the, you know, learn the song, put on the uniform, stand up straight, march tall. And, and we all know that that's kind of what you do in high school, but we also hold in mind that that's not really what music actually is. Mm -hmm. And so this is an opportunity in the midst of all the things that are happening where we get to actually really revisit what it is that we're trying to accomplish with music, what it is that we're trying to accomplish on our instruments, and what new tools we have to use and, you know, getting a big push into learning how to use those tools to create things which reflect ourselves and our community. I think that's great. Yeah. And it's you using that opportunity for putting down the uniforms, at least for a little bit, like how else can we, um, how else can we explore? Now, one last question. What would you like as a freshman? How would you describe the young kinsman? Oh, what was I like as a freshman? Gosh. Yeah. You know, I had, I had my saxophone and that was my, that was my identity. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, look, I'm going to be a band kid. This is me. Mm -hmm. yep, and, yep. Uh, and I, you know, being welcomed into that community was one that I never left. So yeah. that's exactly what I was like. Oh, the other thing as a freshman, and this is important to, to, to mention, is that in eighth grade, I was kind of like a teetering student. I was on the edge. I didn't think I was very smart or whatever like that. 
But then freshman year, I signed up for harder classes. In my school, they were called honors classes. And um, I didn't think that I could do it. But once I got in, I realized that I could do it. And I, I really quickly learned that uh, I could push myself intellectually and, and, and be okay. Yeah, that's cool. And that's a great feeling. I had a similar experience as well. And I think that, you know, if you're a freshman out there, incoming freshman, and, and you don't feel anchored, you know, to find a passion is can, you can branch out from that passion in all kinds of ways. You know, music leads to history, history leads to literature, literature leads to, you know, all kinds of really good stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And as you're thinking about music at the high school, for the rest of your career, you don't have to be in band to do music at the high school. We have right. a music technology course. We've got a jazz program. We've got a composition and arranging course. Um, my Bo, the, the choral teacher, does um, songwriting as well. And of course, she's got an amazing choir, choral program and, and the, the famous Northamptons. So oh, yeah. there's, there's so much to do. Oh, it's, we have such a strong arts department in the school. Yeah, we really do. All right. Well, listen, guys, if you're lucky enough, lucky enough to have Mr. Kinsman, you will be seeing him shortly. Looking awesome. forward to seeing you all.